hearty welcome to ferry tech channel in this video we are about to discuss the miller and bootstrap time based generators with respect to their basic principles how this miller bootstrap miller and bootstrap circuits works let us see so this is a small circuit which is an exponential circuit in which this capacitor charges exponentially based on the position of the switch if this switch is open uh, this capacitor charges linearly from source 3 if this is closed it cannot charge so the linearity these miller and bootstrap circuits are mainly introduced to improve the linearity of the signal so whatever the previous techniques what we have used for generating sweep signal to improve the linearity of the sweep signal so these miller and bootstrap circuits are used so the linearity of the time based generators time based waveforms may be improved by using a circuit involving feedback so figure here this figure shows an exponential circuit in which switch opens to form a sweep in this also a linear sweep cannot be obtained from this circuit because as this capacitor voltage goes increasing you know the current the charging current decreases so hence the rate at which the capacitor charges decreases so it cannot charge with the same speed with the same speed hence a perfect linear output can be obtained if the initial charging current means what whatever the initial current is there if it is maintained constant throughout the circuit means throughout the the charging of the capacitance then a linear sweep can be obtained so this can be done by introducing an auxiliary variable voltage generator means a variable source whose voltage is always equal and opposite to the voltage developed across this capacitor and if these two gets cancelled the current will be constant in the circuit as shown in this figure so the voltage develop, uh, voltage generator voltage V and the capacitor voltage uh, V capacitor voltage developed these two will be always equal and opposite when these two cancel the rate of the current the initial charging current I equals to V by R will be maintained constant so that a linear sweep gets obtained there are two methods of uh, these generators means uh, you voltage generators fixtures means uh, imaginary so there are two methods uh, of generators which can be used here the first one so in this circuit if point Z is grounded if this point Z is grounded and another one is if point Y is grounded let us see how this works if point Z is grounded this Z is uh, grounded a linear sweep will appear between point Y and Z so in negative direction we will see so let us now by replacing this uh, fixtures generator with an actual amplifier with the uh, output terminals of Y and Z and input terminals of X and Z replacing this voltage generator with the uh, amplifier so since we assumed that the voltage developed across this uh, capacitor and the old generated voltage are always equal then the voltage between x and z will be zero hence this point x will be acting like a virtual ground now for this amplifier with a zero input we, will, we are going to see a finite negative value negative value so this type of circuit is actually called as Miller sweep circuit or Miller integrated circuit for example if point Y is grounded in this circuit if point Y is grounded then the circuit is modified like this the output will be taken at Z and a linear sweep will be appearing between Z and the ground and this increase in a positive direction so by replacing the fixtures generator by an amplifier with input terminals x and y output terminals are z and y as shown in this figure so here also since we have assumed the developed capacitor voltage and the generated voltage at any instant will be equal then 
V0 must be equal to VI. So the amplifier mold voltage gain must be unity here. Why? Because V0 equals to VI. So this circuit is referred to as a bootstrap sweep circuit. So if point Z is grounded, it refers to Miller's integrator circuit. If point Y is grounded, then it forms a bootstrap circuit. So the main a difference here you can observe is in a Miller circuit the output goes in negative direction whereas in bootstrap sweep circuit the output goes in a positive direction it gives you positive going signal and Miller circuit gives a negative going signal so with these basics we will discuss what is a mil transistor based Miller As you have seen the basics of basic principles of Miller and Bootstrap time-based generator, we are going to incorporate more videos, not only with respect to electronics, but also with respect to communications, machine learning, and so many topics. For more stuff and videos, which might help you in your academics, research as well as the technology updates please like share and subscribe our channel and also try to subscribe share this channel among your friends colleagues family members who are into academics research and technical fields such that as we are going to have so many expert talks very soon in our channel along with the interviews. Thank you.